you were a doctor you were an engineer you were an architect you were a great man is the call to ministry a call to becoming a cause that's why i made up my mind and i've told you that my first part of call is to make sure you are vibrant spiritually loving the lord growing in character confirming to the image of christ second is to grant you spiritual intelligence to understand the kingdom and understand the life of the spirit number three is to empower you by the spirit so that you become mighty and robust to do the works of the kingdom number four is to reveal purpose for you that every empowerment and enlightenment that comes to the believer is connected to kingdom come but finally to see to it that you live a life of decency with dignity serving the lord and living as responsible people while you do so that is my assignment and as the lord keeps me alive i will not fail in any one of them in the name of jesus christ i will never raise a people who will keep stealing from one another in the name of jesus because of economic problems people who sit in church and the man is wondering there are some of you now who have traveled from the end of this city to come and you live there not because you cannot get a place closer you are trusting god and saying look if god can help me to get a vehicle for my wife and my children so that it will help me do do you think that god is so wicked that you will not want to help you on that wise no listen balanced christianity must have a decent life represented in the proposition a life of decency and a life of dignity I serve Jesus because I love him I have never served him because of money or fame and I will never but like I have told you he has encouraged me today by making sure that there is bread on my table I can shout like this and see people and stretch myself because if I go home there is bread there is tea on my table and it will be evil of a man of God for me to have bread and tea on my table and not care whether you have it too on your table. Every time people carry seeds to give me, I receive it with gratitude, but sometimes I feel guilty because my assignment is, have I empowered this person enough by the word of God to collect their seeds? I know that you have to collect for people to rise, but I tell you sincerely, sometimes I feel guilty. Because you see somebody who does not even have anything, but they come with the sincerity of their faith, with the little that they know. Some of them even empty their accounts and say, man of God, I was taught that sacrifice opens the door. How do you become such a heartless person that you just say, hey, bring it, Oya, go, may God help you. Doesn't matter whether the person dies, doesn't matter whether, no, no. No. That is why every service i keep releasing the various graces and supplying the wisdom when i teach on a financial series i teach it without apology i teach it to all those who need to know and learn when i teach on character when i teach on the spirit life every aspect of the kingdom that will help the believer to be of stature and to be holistic today by the privilege of god's grace we can serve god acceptably and we can also extend the hand of blessing to as many and i am happy and proud for being able to do this for jesus hallelujah we announced the program that we're doing i think first or second week of november it was a burden that god put in my heart and we decided to bring in some doctors from john hopkins hospital and then a few you know here around within the country and we're doing a two-day program number one is for awaiting couples those who are trusting god for the fruit of the womb to bring all these professionals to come and help examine and see what they can do to bring joy to these families and then number two to gather medical practitioners together and then help them to understand best practices some of them may not have the privilege of going to john hopkins hospital but we can bring the people there and see to it that they are going to bring and the lord put it in my heart i'm not saying this to brag hallelujah Archbishop Benson in the host has said don't talk about people till you can do two times what they've done once hallelujah by the privilege of God's grace we are not here to blow trumpets but to say God has not helped us to do things for his kingdom hallelujah 
the boreholes, the prisons, the things that have been done, out of these people, we're selecting 20 families that are trusting God and paying full their program for IVF for 20 families to have the opportunity to do that. I made a statement, I think it was in Enugu when I was ministering. If you cannot give, respect those who give. If you are broke, respect those who have helped, God has helped, who have resources and still fear God. Hallelujah. When I was teaching you on relationships here, I said, if you are poor, have character. If you don't have both, you will remain poor forever. If you, don't have, if you are poor, be friendly and respect people. Don't join the bandwagon of ignorant people who have nothing, not making any contribution for the kingdom. Their ten naira would not go out without them having peace. Hallelujah. The, the number of children in Koinonia here that by God's grace we have given scholarships and are helping families. It's not, it's not to brag, but I need to tell you. These things happen, it takes more than compassion. It takes resources. Our precious school of ministry students I think during my birthday they were i was so touched when they went to kujay prison the marvelous things that they did for the people there and all the humanitarian activities the name of jesus is very heavy it takes resources to lift it up to the nations i've had the honor of watching crying families have their tears wiped in one moment because you were able to help with housing or bread hallelujah there was a situation here not too long ago after service i was attending to people and someone from the medical department came and they brought this wonderful woman who was holding a child this child was almost dying and if i believe that that child would have been managed eventually i got to find out that the child eventually passed on because of the pure living condition that is almost is worse than that which you will give an animal Ladies and gentlemen, when Jesus walked upon the earth, he demonstrated that among the many indices that show true godliness is the ability to be empowered and then to stretch your hands and extend the same. Perhaps not everybody will be able to or be interested in laying hands on the sick to see them healed. Perhaps not everybody will be interested in standing apostolically and prophetically to declare liberty over climates and over nations. But everybody has a role to play in providing financial resources for kingdom advance. Do you know the manipulation that happens in church? Oh, please do this, do that. It is not believers are supposed to be mentored to understand that part of your kingdom responsibility is helping to make financial resources available for kingdom advance. In many non-Christian practices, they teach the people it is part of their kingdom responsibility. So when God blesses people, they know that among the many things to do with that blessing is to see to it that the program of God finds expression. Hallelujah. Let me give you two keys and then we'll pray. The two keys from scripture that will help you to establish these three levels of dominion in your life and then other people's lives that are connected to you. Let me give you the keys. There are many, but I will just give you two for tonight. Are you ready? Number one is to...